Azure Gleam. Conspiracy in the air. Having laid Lenato low, the kingdom's army proceeds south. Count Roe, who had prior declared fealty to the empire, surrenders, and Aryan Road falls back into kingdom hands. With its foothold in the west lost, the empire amasses troops in the former Arundel territory to the south, prompting the army of Fargus to strike before Adrestia can regain its footing. It's nice Aryan Road fell with little more than a hand wave, but it's hardly comfortable knowing the enemy is still on our doorstep. Comfortable or no, we must take what few chances we do have to rest. Battle will be upon us again before we know it. Not to mention the fortress is still a target. I mean, who wouldn't want their very own impregnable stronghold? Our spies report that the enemy plans to mount such an attack from Arendelle land. Is that a new amusement park? Arendelle, huh? It's been two years since the territory came under the Emperor's control. The wind carries rumors that Edelgard has been keeping Lord Arendelle imprisoned in his home since then. If it's true, I'll... I'll... <sighs> No. Were the enemy to strike and the fortress city to somehow fall, our path forward in this war would grow exceedingly perilous. Okay, so that's what um the Silver Maiden is. It's like the fortress city, I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> I probably am, but I mean, it's been years since I played Three Houses. The West doesn't face the kind of constant threats we do, so there aren't as many strongholds here as in the North, right? Basically. Though my uncle did say that started to change at least a tiny bit in the past couple of years. In other words, the entire Western region of the Kingdom is likely to fall into enemy hands if we retreat from Aryan Road now. Indeed. Which is exactly why we must take the offensive and restrain this Imperial snake before it can sink its fangs into us. Hey, it'll be nice to strike first for once. It feels like we've been on the back foot for a while now. Right you are. And remaining on perpetual defense would only lead to more meaningless, preventable deaths. We have fired up. Offense is the best defense, I always say. We'll crush anyone who has the gall to stand against us. There you go, getting carried away again. Look at them, all stunned into speechlessness. Hmm? Your Majesty, I bear terrible news. Calm yourself. What is it? The convoy escorting Count Roe to the capital has been attacked by an unknown assailant. They've sustained heavy losses, and it seems Count Roe has gone missing amid the chaos. I see. And these assailants, we know nothing about them? Very little, Your Majesty. The survivors claim to have been attacked by numerous mages. Mages? No. What's wrong? Do you know who it is? Probably Hubert. You saw the court mage Cornelia during our battle at Ferdia, yes? Oh, never mind. Well... She disappeared almost immediately after. It's likely she has been burrowed away in Western Fargus ever since. Which leads me to wonder if this attack wasn't her handiwork somehow. It's merely a feeling, though. I'd like to look into it further, if possible. But something tells me the Imperial soldiers won't wait around patiently while we go off hunting for clues. Perhaps you should send a separate unit to investigate while we attend to the Empire. Yes, that would be prudent for now. We cannot afford to lower our guard for even a moment. Man, that's a lot. That is a lot of area. Hey there. 
Hey, Shez, have you heard? A moment of your time. <laughs> There's a tactical research facility up and running now. I guess the boar arranged it. Mastering swordsmanship isn't enough to win wars. Go and take a look at the new facility when you can. Oh man, there's so much. There's so much to do. And I'll save that for a little bit later. Oh, there's something to read. And there's Flynn over there. But I'll, I'll read this. Traveler's Journal number two. A record consisting largely of the world outside of Podlin. The author's identity is unknown, but have, they have clearly experienced these places firsthand. Brigid. An, archi an archipelago nestled between Podlin and Dagda, a land of plenty. It is often heralded as the perfect union of the gentle sea and nature's bounty. Both Podlin and Dagda have long vied to claim this territory as their own. Shring was once the name of an enormous peninsula to the north of Portland. Today, only the northern half has kept the moniker, while the southern half now falls under the dominion of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Several warlike clans call this great wasteland their home. Certain areas of the region are compromised, uh, are comprised of rocky desert. Dusker, a peninsula to the north of Portland and the west of Shring. The people who once inhabited this area were decimated. Ugh, we're decimated. And now falls under the dominion of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The land boasts nothing noteworthy to make it a desirable travel destination, but rumors of valuable minerals waiting to be unearthed abound. Ogma Mountains. Named after Ogma from the first Fire Emblem. I'm, I'm guessing it's named after him. Anyway, an enormous mountain range somewhat south of central Fultlin. To the west, it forms the border between the Empire and the Kingdom, surrounding Garrick Mach and cutting across Empire territory. It is home to many animals and plants that cannot be found elsewhere, as well as a plethora, plethora whatever, of valuable mineral deposits. Plethora, plethora, or whatever. I know how to say that word, but I don't know how to say it at this very moment. So, in a bit, I will basically explore everything and include any important information from basically the blue dots on the map. So, I'll see you then. Alrighty, so... I do welcome you back to Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes. As you can possibly tell, we're already in Chapter 6. This is like the turnover from the last time I recorded. So what I'm going to do first, before talking to everybody in the base camp, is I'm going to feature the support conversation for Dudu and Ash. I'd gotten it a while back, but it hasn't unlocked until now. So, here we go. Oh, it's so late. I didn't mean to take this much of a detour. Just getting back? Hey, Dudu. Hope I didn't worry you. You didn't. You were in town, yes? I went to pick up some supplies, but on the way back, I saw these flowers blooming, and I just couldn't help but pick some. Ah, yarrows. They're used as an ingredient in healing salves, although you can also slap the leaves on your wounds and get mostly the same effect. Oh, and I plan on soaking them in alcohol. It'll produce a liquid that can be used for a wonderful ointment. Yeah, though I suppose it would be faster to just use healing magic. You seem well informed on the subject. Lenato knew all about it. So I picked up a few things from him. Lord Lenato had an interest in plants? 
Oh, sure. He kept tons of botanical encyclopedias and books like that in his room. He loved flowers. He even kept a small herb garden at Castle Gaspar. Hey, you like gardening too, right? I mean, you were always watering the flowers in the greenhouse back at Garrick Mock. I suppose I do, though I know little of the medicinal properties. Yeah, I guess knowing how to grow plants is different from knowing how to use them. Even so, the greenhouse was a treasure to me. You're right about that. I found flowers there I'd never even seen in Castle Gaspar's garden. I would like very much to visit this garden of yours one day. We should go. Of course, a lot has happened since I last saw it. But my younger siblings should still be looking after it. I look forward to it. Though, how did Lord Lenato come to know so much about medicinal herbs? Uh, he used to serve Grand Duke Rufus, so... Maybe he studied them while he was in the capital. Perhaps. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, chatting away, when I should be off making myself useful. Of course. Medicinal herbs. Hmm. Yeah, they got more into, like, what they're both into. It was, like, mainly to do, because, uh... He did, like, gardening, like, back in... Three houses. <clears throat> but honestly, this game is showing more of the do than the la than three houses did. That's just me. I talked to Felix already. Oh, let me talk to uh, Arvel. This is true. Circumstances dictate how people act. As such, I believe things are about to get much more difficult for you. Though perhaps that will be a welcome change for someone of your caliber. Well, you will undoubtedly face the Ashen Demon again. I do hope you'll emerge victorious this time. I hope I do too. Let me go in here real quick. What is it? Geralt's mercenaries were real tough when we fought them at Magdred. The Imperial Armor hired them, right? We'll probably be fighting them again soon. Really not looking forward to any of this. I'm not ready to die yet. Oh, I would hope not. Let's talk to Flame. Good day. Good day, Flame. Many of the church people in Camelus are advanced in age, so there is little lively discussion to be had. <laughs> On the other hand, there are many young folk in the Kingdom Army and they are quite spirited. It makes for a rather comfortable atmosphere. Although it would be even better if we did not have to go to bat into battle at all. In fact... In truth, I would have enrolled in the Officer's Academy if this war had never broken out. I do need to get the, um... The support level up for her. Hey, it's Mercedes. Hmm. I'm so very reluctant to fight any of our old friends from the Academy. It's all well and good if we can convince them to join us. But in the end, we're still making them bend to our will. They might not want it at all. Oh. We're essentially forcing them to choose between death or betraying their friends and family. It feels cruel. Alright, I've taken you on enough expeditions. Good day. Who's over here? Ingrid! As you're aware, Sylvain and I have known each other since we were very young. The story goes... Back in the day, he would occasionally show up with bruises and other injuries on his face and body. <sighs> Whenever I would ask him about it, he'd just say that he got hit during training or something, but I knew what was really going on. I logically understand why His Majesty gave Miklon an appointment, and more importantly, Sylvain agreed to it. <sighs> but I... I don't think I can accept it quite so easily. Perhaps people can change, but they can never wash away their past sins. I am keenly aware of this myself. How 
can I be of service? I can't say it's any wonder that people find Commander Miklon suspect. He's got a checkered past, you know. In the unlikely event he does anything untoward, His Majesty has ordered us to promptly detain and execute him. My unit has numerous elite soldiers, you see, including those with crests like myself. Can't imagine you'd have any issue taking him. Could it come to that? Ah, but I don't think there's any reason to worry. Yeah, because you can overtake him because he doesn't have a crest. The Empire is taking on an army, our army in the west, and simultaneously battling with the Alliance to the east. They also have renowned generals like Count Bergulis, uh, Bergulese and Marquis uh, Vestra in their command. I, I don't know how to say these names. That reminds me. <coughs> Speaking on, of the current Marquez, whatever, I believe you and he were in the same cohort at the Officer's Academy. I I don't remember this dude. Hmm. Vestra? Hmm. Nope, don't remember. I didn't really interact much with people from the other houses. Not so. Well, that's understandable. His name is Hubert, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. We must use the Empire's current easterly focus to create an advantage for ourselves. Very well, then. Sending troops into former Arundel territory is one aspect of that plan. We must quickly dispatch the enemy troops targeting our Aryan Road. Sure. How may I help you? We are proceeding with the investigation into Count Rose's escort unit. As his majesty and as his majesty in intimated, we found Cornelia and the Western nobles to be poten potential suspects. We lack conclusive proof at present, however. Count Rowe's actual whereabouts also remain unknown. We, we would soon find out if we attack the West, but we cannot act without sufficient evidence. Makes sense. How can I be of service? Commander, I heard that Count Rowe was kidnapped during his escort. We have no idea why he was taken. I know it's unlikely, but I'm terribly worried about our caravan getting attacked. Please hurry and apprehend the culprits. <clears throat> Alright, so let me just take a little bit to uh, do some shopping here. Good day to you. Count Rowe from Aryan Road originally didn't have any children. Apparently he took notice of some talented young lad who was a distant relative and adopted him. Indeed. But the boy caused problems at the officer's academy and was some summarily cut off. I wonder if this means House Rose's lineage has come to an end. Let's talk to the gatekeeper. Nothing to report. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. So we're going to hit Empire territory next, huh? I hear they're they've got some tough mercenaries with them. Got it. Promise we'll come back safe and sound. Okay. I'm wishing each and every battle. Every one of you, the greatest success in battle. And, uh, okay, let's see, ZL. There's a cat. Let me get closer. There's the cat. All right, let's continue. Oh, you. My parents were murdered by bandits when I was a child. They attacked out of nowhere, and my mother, she... That's why I cannot stand that bandit Miklon being here, and as a general, no less. It doesn't matter if he's skilled or if he's from a noble house, to give such an appointment to a guy like that. Agreed. Let's see what's in the supply, shall we? Alright, I expanded a little bit on the supply, um, the supply facility. Good seeing you. Not good. When His Majesty came to me saying he wanted to give Miklon a role in the army, I just about keeled over from surprise. My brother put me through a lot when we were kids, even after we'd grown up, grown up if I'm being honest. But the kingdom needs him right now, both militarily and politically. I will express worry. What? Are you sure you're okay fighting alongside him? If he's really done that much to you, I mean. Mm -hmm. 
They're keeping an eye on him. And besides, I'm not the same defenseless kid I was all those years ago. I can handle myself. I actually think my brother could be useful to us. My father taught him everything he knows, after all. Talk to you later, Sylvain. Uh, I don't think I have anything uh, weapon-wise. Man, this new facil facilities. Um. His Majesty told me before every that everyone has something they can't accept. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I guess for Lenado, it was the church and Lady Rhea. But he never said anything about to me about resenting them. On the contrary, he enrolled me in the officer's academy, which is run by the church, and I became a kingdom knight because of it. Let's give it a go. I'll have to think more on the subject myself. It's my responsibility. I took his life, after all. I mean, yes. I was using Ash to deliver the killing blow to Lanado. So that is true. Hey, is to do. Something. Well. We can trust Duke Ifan. Ifan. Though she is aged, she is deeply loyal to the royal family, and importantly, she instructed Gustav in tactics. Express... Surprise. Meh. No kidding? She taught Gustav? She sounds incredible. I... I... I really wanted the... the... support thing to go up. Right. Yes, his majesty has often sought her counsel on governance and strategy. Anything could still uh, anything could still occur though. We must be prepared for the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Viscount. Have you need of me? I am Yvette, house head of house uh, Belenus. I have heard quite a bit about you. Actually, my own house was in charge of Count Rose escort. However, we were attacked by a group of strangers, though I know not if they were affiliated with anyone I've come well, with anyone. I've come to report the details of, to His Majesty. I've only just inherited my title too. I cannot believe I made such a blunder so soon after. Uh, let, let me go inside here. It is you. It is you, Seth. How how do you do? I wish to speak with you. I have just informed Lady Rhea of the battle's progress. She has directed me to continue obeying the king's orders. And also, I shall be acting alongside all of you for the time being. Of course, you may count me among your military forces as well. By the by. Do you know anything about the leader of Geralt's mercenaries? <clears throat> um, I'll tell him what I know. Let's see. He's a veteran mercenary called the Bladebreaker. He's got a head for tactics and valor to spare. Hmm. hmm, indeed. That man once led the Knights of Saros. It was it is lamentable that a man of his caliber should now be an enemy of the church. It could spell trouble for us. I wonder. It was fortunate that Count Roe surrendered so swiftly. We did not sustain any losses. I have my own opinion on the Count's views, but I must admit that he took the needs of his people into careful consideration. No. I ought to speak I ought not to speak those word these words, having pressed him to surrender. Forget I said anything. Hmm. If Cornelia is truly the one who took him, that would spell trouble for us indeed. I'm fine with just giving one thing to every person. Let's uh, continue this way. I should have got well. Yeah, I'll, I'll go this way. <clears throat> I'll go this way and then head to uh, where that thing is down there. It is our new recruit, Dorothea. I didn't want to fight at all, but I did it. But I did it for Eddie or Edie. I think it's Edie. <clears throat> but now I've surrendered to keep myself alive. What other choice did I have? <clears throat> I'm not sure I can bring myself to fight for Vargas, not with my whole heart anyway, but if I have to, I'll do it to hasten the end of this war. <clears throat> well, cheer up. Let's see. You don't have to force yourself, Dorothea. I can talk to Dimitri for you, if you feel like you can't fight for the kingdom. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, but I'm fine. I have to take responsibility for my decisions. I get things done. 
I am a songstress, no matter the stage, I swear I will play my role to the hilt, and I will be glorious. Greetings. We'll be on the Empire we'll be on Empire controlled lands from this point forward as we as we head to into former Arundel territory. Apparently the former Willor Arundel was intimately involved in the tragedy of Dusker. I don't want the Empire to eliminate him. I want them to get to the truth of the matter. I will never be satisfied until they do. I'm from Dusker, you see, and I lost my brother. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something, brother. Let's talk to Happy. Oh, it's you. Too much stuff is happening, and all of it is annoying. Hmm. That Cornelia lady or whoever, she's up to no good, I'm telling you. I wonder if she's that lady. Uh, no, I'm agreement. Hmm. Yeah, it's troubling that a former court mage might be committing such evil deeds. Hmm. <clears throat> a former court mage, huh? Hmm, yeah, maybe so. Ugh, what a pain. It's like, I don't know if I want to... <clears throat> keep her as a mage, or switch her class as well. Because I'm going to do that for Dorothea. Definitely. There's another cat. Who's over here I can talk to? Oh, Catherine. What up, Catherine? How you doing? Or should I say, how you doing? Hmm. Geralt's mercenaries, huh? A while back, a guy named... Uh, a guy named... A guy called Geralt served as captain of the Knights of the Saros. But I never would have guessed he'd leave the Knights and end up a wandering mercenary. <laughs> The guy quit more than 20 years ago, but apparently he's still just as tough as he was then. Impressive stuff, if you ask me. They say those who inherit crests from their ancestors tend to live long lives, and I guess he'd be your case in point. <clears throat> Can you join my crew? Uh, is this dude? It's Miklon. What? What do you want? I don't care if you dislike me, but if you try anything funny, I'll cut your throat myself. <laughs> Protecting our inroad for the time being. That's what the one holding my leash ordered me to do at any rate. We're gonna be great friends. Great friends. Speaking of great friends, it's Annette. On that note. I heard the Alliance is having a real tough time in this in this war too. The Great Bridge of Meriden Meriden? Fell and Count Glosker swore his allegiance to the Empire. We're doing fine enough for now ourselves, but there's no telling what might happen in the future. Oh, after all? <laughs> uh, it all worked out in the end. We've been doing great so far. I don't know. I guess you're right, but I wonder. Anyway, let's make sure we're ready as we're as ready as we can be for the next fight. <clears throat> I will give you a gift. Let me see. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the hair clip again. <laughs> I love it. Let me give you all the hair clips. Okay, so now tactics instructor. Okay, uh, what is this? Uh, History of Poland one. Uh, let's get. Let me get through this. Let me let me actually take a swig of this drink. Clear my throat. <clears> throat> and let's get to this. History of Poland one. Under the tyranny of ruthless disorder, the people endured a long period of suffering. The vile nemesis who proclaimed himself the king of liberation delighted in war and bloodshed. Rather than rebelling against his persecution, the people of Fodland fell to his depths in a mad scramble to obtain, to obtain power through murder and theft. 41 years before the founding of the Adresian Empire, Saint Saros appeared in the land of Enbar and through the many unfathomable mir miracles she performed, spread light across the land. In doing so, she joined the shattered hearts of the purest people of Fodland, who went on to form the Holy Church of Saros. 
Imperial Year One, the founding of the Adresian Empire. <clears throat> In the first year of our calendar, the glorious Adresian Empire was founded. Its name was gifted by an oracle and its future blessed by the goddess. Its capital, Enbar, was chosen to govern the southern reaches of Fodland, where the divine Saint Seros also lent her power. Year 32, the War of Heroes. Wilhelm Paul Schreschfeld, the inaugural Adresian Emperor, raised an army in pursuit of the unification of Fodland. With his might, he hunted and destroyed any house's territory that dared to seek more power. Year 46, the battle at Grander Field. An intense battle erupted on Grander Field, where the houses that were allied with Nemesis and the Imperial forces of the Adresian Empire clashed. There, the Imperial forces emerged victorious. Year 91, the Battle of Tailton? Well, Tailtian? The houses that were allied with Nemesis once again faced off against the Imperial forces, this time the Teltian Plains. This time at Teltian Plains. There the evil Nemesis finally fell and the Empire secured a momentous victory. Year 98, the War of Heroes ends. The successor uh, to Great Emperor Wilhelm, I, Wilhelm, I guess the first, uh, Lyca, okay, Lycon? whatever the first succumbed to sudden illness the empire which ruled over the majority of Fodland took this opportunity to put an end to the seemingly endless fighting all right let's see what the tactics instructor does let's see here we research the latest and greatest tactics ever to grace the field of battle if our findings pique your interest i would be delighted to assist you how about it The Tactics Academy. At the Tactics Academy, you can enhance your unit's battle proficiencies. <clears throat> expanding, expanding this facility will unlock new avenues for improvement. Facility effects include unlocking additional warrior gauges, unlocking vulnerary sp slots, unlocking level up capabilities for unique abilities. Mm hmm, interesting. My instruction comes at a high price. Okay, so I can expand this? Okay. Research tactics that facilitate taking on a great number of enemies at once. Allows you to gain a second warrior gauge at the Tactics Academy. Doing it. What's this? <clears throat> a third warrior gauge, and then beyond their limit. <clears throat> Use of concoctions. Uh, let's see, allows a unit to increase recovery item uses. <clears throat> Allows unit to increase ability slots to six at the Tactics Academy. <clears throat> so I can actually get all three of these if I had 30 beginner combat manuals. I'll just have to see if I'm able to obtain them. If not, then that's fine. I can just worry about it later. But let's see what we can do here. Have you even learned a battle tactic? Let's see. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Raise crest level. Okay. I'm just seeing, like, if there's anything, like, unique about some of these peeps. Okay. <clears throat> so I can increase warrior... I can increase warrior gauges. And then... Okay. I just, like, overall. Okay, so let me see what I can do. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Warrior Gauge plus one. Master a tactic that facilitates taking on multiple enemies at once, grants a second Warrior Gauge. It only costs five... It only costs 500 gold? Let's make this a group session. I give this a freaking everybody. Um, It costs 7,000 like, give it to everybody. I'm gonna do this. Okay, got all that. Everybody has an additional warrior gauge. Don't neglect your daily studies. Tactics are essential to any victory. I should keep them in mind as I prepare. Okay, so okay, that's a good thing. I can actually uh, deal with that in between sessions. 
So I don't have to actually do all that stuff here, you know? Oh, did I miss Felix? It really pisses me off. There's no... There's so much that fool neglected to tell us. This... It really pisses me off. Per usual, I have absolutely no idea what's rattling inside... Around inside his skull. If he thinks he's the one... Only one who will face... Lose face over this, he's a greater fool than I gave him credit for. Who knew royalty could be so annoying? So, I've talked to everybody. I really want Catherine on my team. Uh, but I, yeah, I talked to everybody, so... I'm probably going to do a little bit of training. I'm going to do some things. <clears throat> I'm going to do a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to train. I'm going to uh, probably do some chores and eat. <clears throat> and then that's probably going to be it. Strange. It feels as though I'm facing off against Lambert himself. I'm not sure I can live up to my father's prowess in the art, but I will do my best. Well, this is a new look for me. Counting on you both. Come on, we'll do it together. If I can be of any assistance, please let me know. We all must do our fair share. Uh, this is nice. Yeah, the flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Hold on! How'd you know this was my favorite? Thank you! You made this. Impressive. Come back whenever you're hungry! So I believe that will be it for this base camp focus. Uh, the next time I play, I will be doing the first side quest of Chapter 6. And we'll see where that leads. Like, there, anything I do in between, um, I'll try to let you know what I did. So until next time, I'll be seeing ya.